hello guys if you are working on with the data table js and if you guys are wondering like uh, how i can uh, uh, hide a particular column from the table or how i can like disable a search uh, uh, from a particular column for example if you see uh, this search is a global search so whatever i search here it will search through the table okay guys now in this case if you are looking to just disable a search for a particular column like for example the position is a column okay you don't want that accountant accountant to be search okay or you just wanted to disable to uh, you just wanted to disable search for this particular column so how we can do that or if you're looking to hide this column or any of the column uh, from that but still the search is visible uh, search is enabled and column is uh, hidden or the column is uh, visible and search is hidden we can do vice versa so let's have an example here for example uh Guys, uh, in the in my last videos, I have already uh, shown uh, how to create a table JS example. So the basic thing is like these are the two CDN files that we have to take a, take, okay? And these are the two JS files that is uh, mandatory, okay? And rest of the JS is for for export button, print button, okay? Export to CSV button. Uh, you can check my last videos for the detailed explanations, okay? Now a very basic thing that I will recall again. So for any table, okay? Example ID is compulsory okay you can have class or id so if you are using id just make sure you uh, use hash if you're using class for example if you're using class then make sure you use dot okay so that's two compulsory things and another thing is like we need the table head and table body mandatory okay guys so you can check out my last video and now here what we are doing is uh, we are using column definition okay so in the column definition the first parameter is target so target one so what target one means it will consider position not the name because in the table uh, it will not consider this as a first element it will consider this as the first element because it starts from the zero zero one two three four five okay currently we have six column but it will consider from zero uh, it will consider name as zero element then position as the first element of the second third like this so uh, i'm what i'm doing is i'm giving this target one means i am targeting actually this position column okay so what i am saying to him is like uh visible false let's make it visible false and let's refresh the page so what it will do is like it will hide position column to users okay to the end users but in the memory of data table js it is present okay how we can do uh, how we can consider that you see i have made searchable true okay so here what i will do is i will paste uh, like accountant accountant you see it's searching accountant and it's also displaying the values because there are two accountants in the table but currently it's not displaying why because the position field i have make hidden okay now the same thing what i will do is i will make it visible okay visible oh sorry i will make it true visible true okay now again i will refresh and now you can see the position column had two accountants let's see for an example if i do accountant again okay you see there are two accounts now uh, same thing uh, it's a global search now if you are looking for uh, just uh, to uh, make uh, search disable for a particular column so you simply have to do false okay for this target one and you can use this as a set okay starting from uh, semicolon under the column definition okay uh, using under this bracket so now again if i just refresh the page now if i search for accountant so it will not search actually it will just say uh, no record found you see there is no record found for account because uh, it's not allowing to search for this particular field so guys i hope you like this video so again just a recap if you are looking to hide a particular column okay and if you wanted to disable search for a particular column you can simply use this method if you have any further question guys please comment and if you like this video i request you all to kindly share and subscribe to my channel Thank you so much for watching, for watching this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.